What is going on everybody? Welcome, I hope all is well. I made it to where I'm gonna be camping. Although, on this video, I am not gonna be camping. On this video, I'm actually gonna be going over all my camping gear, my setup, how I have everything set up in my truck, to how I usually set it up at camp, and kind of all the stuff I have. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm planning on upgrading my truck. Fairly soon, actually. I am gonna start like, I'm gonna, I'm planning on deleting the back seats and putting shelving in there. I'm, uh, you know, planning on getting that, uh, what do you call it? I forget the name, but it's like a hard shell canopy type thing to come in here so I can put like a fridge, more storage in my truck bed and get like a rooftop tent, canopy, all that stuff. Now I will say, it's not gonna happen all at once. It will happen in stages throughout the year but I'm hoping by the end of 2025, I have a, a pretty well done, almost somewhat completed, capable overland rig. All right, so for right now, before we set everything up, I wanna go over everything of how I have it set up in my truck, starting with my front seat. So in the front seat, I just kind of keep all my, um, recovery gear, first aid, and all of my filming gear. So you can see I have filming gear, obviously whatever, and then recovery, first aid, and some other random stuff over here. And then I keep this stuff right here, gloves and this little thing. All right, now for the back seat. So in my back seat, passenger side, I have, so this is my kitchen stuff, got kind of my spices, I already had a banana. Uh, and other random things that I will need for this trip. And then I have my water, my obviously my teapot, power bank, uh, sleeping bag, you know, all my sleeping stuff. This is all my sleeping stuff, kind of in the middle. So let's go to the other side real quick. So on this side, oop, something's gonna fall. All right, on this side, you know, you can see just all my sleeping stuff, sleeping pads, my bowl that I use for my water. This is, so check it out, it busted. I, I, I put too much weight on it. My hand was on it when I was moving stuff uh, like two weeks ago, I think. Anyways, getting sidetracked. This houses all of my, my bug spray and stuff, repellent and things like that. There you go. And then I have obviously my clothes and all, all of that stuff right here. And then I have this. So down here, it usually changes, but it's pretty much my boots, cast iron, and I have some lights back there. Okay, I got the truck bed open. Ugh, cool. So this is pretty much how I have it set up. Things might move around here and there, but this is pretty much what I have in my truck bed. So what I do is I'll normally put my wood right here. And then when I'm leaving camp after I burn, I'll have a spot where I can put my trash bag and stuff. And then on this side, I have water under here. There is water right here, a big old jug right here. And then I have my cooler and then my tent canopy. Let's see, my table is down there. And then I have my chair. And then over here kind of in the middle is my kitchen stuff. So you can see that's for cooking on the grill or on the, what do you call it? The fire. And then I have my cleaning kitchen stuff and then my dry goods underneath there. And then over in this corner, I have my toiletry, um, my lights and batteries, stuff that needs batteries all in there. And under there, I have my stove and something else, something else, something else. Stove and toilet. That's what's under there. So that is how I have everything stored in my truck. Now I'm going to go ahead and set everything up so I can show my setup and, you know, all my gear.
There you go guys, camp is all set up. My favorite setup. So my favorite setup is having the fire ring right here, having my canopy right here, and then having my tent, table, and my truck. Favorite setup, because everything is right here where I need it, and I don't have to like venture far to enjoy the fire, and if I need to get something, you know, whatever, it's all right here. I always don't have like, I might have sometimes like the tent here, truck here, table here. But what I try to do is I try to situate, since I have the canopy, I kind of consider it four walls and I will situate something at each wall. So it's kind of like a different like room, so to speak. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my truck bed. So everything is outside of my truck. The only thing that is actually in here, actually I'll show you real quick. You can see just, you know, a little extra water. My shoes, cast iron are still in here. These are, ugh, open this. I ended up busting it. I put too much weight on it, whatever. Happened a couple weeks ago. So let's lift that. So you can see like I have stuff for mosquitoes bug and fire starter kind of some random things but stuff that i don't need all the time but you never know when you'll need it so that stays pretty much in here and then in the front seat that's pretty much uh so i brought the this little sweater jacket because it is a little chilly and then here's all my like recovery hammers first aid stuff so now to the truck bed and i will say the truck bed is pretty much pantry kitchen stuff so let's start over here in this compartment i keep all my cleaning and uh trash bags and gloves and then in this big sucker so it's funny, when I first started camping, I used to keep all of my, which I have kitchen stuff in here, but also I guess you can say my pantry stuff, which are in here, which we'll get to in a second. So in here, I pretty much just keep, you know, paper towels, extra kitchen stuff, plates, you know, gas. So that's pretty much it. So in here is stuff that I don't have to like take out and use at home. It's just camping gear. 
and then I guess you can call this the the pantry where I keep all of my all of my spices, food, perishables, oil, seasonings, all that stuff is in here. And then anything cooking wise that I know I'm gonna be cooking something that I will need from home, I'll stick it in here. So th this is kind of ever changing. I shouldn't say ever changing, but it's it's I have the, the essentials and then I add and remove stuff depending on what I'm cooking and doing on my camping trips. And then I obviously have more water. Here's more water. So what I do is all my water in here, that's for cooking and clean or cooking and drinking. All my water that's in here, I use for cleaning. And then I have extra water in here as well. So something I did bring that I normally do not bring on my trips, but I figured since I am showing everything, I'll bring it. Let me bust it out real quick. Okay, so I'll show it real, real fast. Let me get, let me turn this. Here we go. I'll tell you when the wind kicks in, it really lets you know that like it's fall, winter time. Right now the temperature is about 65 degrees, and it's beautiful. But when the wind kicks in, you can feel that cool air. I should say that cold air. It's not really that cold. In between cold and cool. All right. Anyways, so. I have this washroom privacy shelter thing. Now, I only bring that when I'm going out camping with other people. When I'm by myself, I'll show you what I do when I get to the tent. Now, um, next to, so that's pretty much my kitchen setup. Oh my, uh, you know, I have my cooler. Totally forgot, my, totally forgot about my cooler, my cooler right here. And then I have this five gallon bucket, which I use for my wastewater. So when I'm cleaning stuff, the water all just dumps into there. So next to all that stuff, right here is my table with, I guess my kitchen cookware stuff. So this is normally how I keep it, just like that. Hasn't really changed, um, that's what it is. Stove is great, no complaints. So I guess you can call that my kitchen setup. The few other random things I have that are out here is, I have this chair and that camp grill. The chair, great chair, no complaints. The only thing I want to say about the chair is when I went on, uh, when I bought this chair on my first camping trip with this chair, it was next to the campfire. I was not, a good gust of wind came and it knocked it over. And this part right here, it hit one of the rocks that was really hot. And so it melted it a little bit. So the camp grill, have it right there. I always don't bring it. I only bring it when I'm cooking on the campfire. Otherwise, there's no point in bringing it. Something I did do as well, um, so my grill at home, it rusted out in the bottom and broke. And so what I did is I took just two of them, two of these cast iron, uh, uh, the grill toppers, and I put them in here. So when I grill, I have them. Okay, that's cool. Got all that tape. Oh, my umbrella, totally forgot. So the umbrella right here, I, I honestly, I just move that around depending on where the sun's at and I need the shade. Fairly simple enough. Um, you know, before I head into the tent, let's tell you one more story. The shovel. So that shovel, I got it from home. I've always had it for a very long time, but I don't bring it out camping. There's another shovel that I used to bring out camping all the time. And I did bring it out this time to show you guys. It actually busted on me. So let me just set it up real quick. So I brought, I'd always bring this shovel. And it's kind of perfect because, you know, it can go anywhere I need it. It's not super long to where I have to kind of finagle it in the truck. So it, wor it works. But I was on a trip <coughs> months ago now. And this part right here, on both sides, they use screws to screw it in and it freaking came undone. So I'm thinking of like getting maybe like some super strong glue and maybe like a screw that goes all the way through like a screw and bolt and like tighten it up so I can still use it and have it for this trip. Because in all honesty, that shovel right there, it's awesome to have. I love the long handle, but it's just too, I don't wanna say bulky, but it just, it, you know, it, it's 
more inconvenient, let's put it like that. There you go, than having the little shovel. All right, let's head into the tent, get out of the wind a little bit, and I can go over the stuff in there. All right, welcome to inside the tent. So let's go ahead, we'll start this way. That's the door. And then coming over here, I have pretty much all my electronics. This is my electronics corner. So all of my camera gear, power bank, water. And then in this tub, that's where I said I keep all of my pretty much electronics. Anything that really needs a battery goes in there. So lights, my thermostat. I think that's pretty much it. All my lights and my thermostat go in there. And then next to that, right here, this sucker, this is my toilet, AKA my nightstand. And if you take a look, here's my thermostat. The top number is outside. The bottom number is inside the tent. I'll go over this in just a little bit. So next to that, I have my bed. My bed, oddly enough, has gone through a couple um, upgrades, you can say. So when I first started camping, this pad right here and the pad down below, those two pads are what I used as uh, my mattress for when I went camping. After about two months of doing that though, I realized long term, these aren't gonna work. These pads, they are, what are they for? Um, they're for backpack camping. So what I ended up doing when I realized that, I was like, all right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get an air mattress. So I got an air mattress and it was, it was pretty awesome. It only lasted one night though. Cause when I woke up at, in the middle of the night sleeping on it, it had deflated a little bit. And this was before I had my power bank. So what I had to do to air up that mattress was I had to turn on my truck, plug it into my truck air and air it up. I was like, that ain't gonna work. So I returned it and then I ended up getting a, uh, it's four, 4.5 inches. It's a self-inflating air mattress that also in the bag that it stores in, it's designed to as well to fill it up with air to the firmness you want. And that's what I use. That's what's right here. And I have been using this ever since I got it and I love it. My bed, it's perfect. Next to my bed, I have my clothes right here and my toiletries. Something that I had learned from camping so much is that, and something I do now is that, so these canisters, I have an extra gas in there. And what I do is after I'm done like cooking and I put my stove away, I'll take that gas canister and I'll just plug it into here. And if I have to turn the gas, or I, if I have to turn the heat on, I'll let the heat go. And if there's not enough gas or if it runs out, which has happened to me before, I would have to go outside into my truck, into my kitchen setup where I have another canister, grab that and come back in here and put it in and then there you go. So I have an extra one in my toiletries. So if that ever happens, I don't have to wander out. Cool, so that is my tent and all my stuff. So before I go, I actually wanna show you guys the toilet. So whenever I talk about like camping and you know, the outdoors, people are always fascinated with like, I go to the bathroom, what you use and all that stuff. So I'd like to show. So cool thing about this, I use it as a table, but you know, when you gotta go to the bathroom, this sucker just lifts up and you got your toilet seat right here. Let me grab. So keep all my toiletries in here. And these are the bags. So if you are curious, there you go. Okay, so all you do for at least this setup, because there are different one, different kinds out there. So there it comes this bag and this bag. When you unroll this bag, you get a moist towelette and some toilet paper. And the cool thing about this is that there's some powder in here and it's apparently NASA designed it. So when you put a liquid in it and it touches it, it solidifies all the liquid. 
And you're just gonna put this bag in here. What I like to do is, um, whatever that pottery stuff is, it always ends up like in the front. So I'll kind of like just spread it a little bit. And there you go. All right, so there you go, guys. You just do your business. And then after you're done, you will take this bag and you will then put it in this bag. You put it in this bag, seal it up, put it in a trash bag, and then there you go. If you guys want to take a peek real quick, this is what uh, it looks like inside the bag. That's the, it's just like that powdery whatever stuff. I mean, so the bag doesn't get in the way. There you go. So once the liquid touches that, it solidifies it. I will also say that, um, you know, I'm a dude. So luckily I just got to find a bush and I can pee standing. So I, you know, I only use the toilet once maybe maybe twice a trip depending on how long i am out but yeah that's it guys that is my camp setup the gear that i use currently and you know i gotta say it's i like it i i enjoy the setup that i do have but i am i am as well excited to upgrade and start really making my truck into a capable overland rig so I can explore and be out in the wilderness much longer. And and uh, I do want to say, like, if you guys have any suggestions of, like, maybe what upgrades gear, um, any DIY stuff, because I'm kind of all over the place and what to do, what to get. I am starting with the my back seats. So I'm going to delete my back seats and build out shelving. I just don't know what shelving, how many shelves, how high, the, you know, all that stuff. Still trying to figure all that out. So if you guys have any suggestions, any channels, anything, any recommendations, greatly, greatly appreciated. All right, well, the last thing I want to mention before I let you guys go is my camera gear, the stuff I use for filming. I only use two things. I use my GoPro 11 and my uh, iPhone 11 which oddly enough are both 11. <laughs> so I will say, you know, in upgrading my truck, I'm also planning on upgrading all my camera gear, you know, getting sound and lighting and, you know, other stuff, a drone. I'm hoping to get all that stuff and really elevate uh, my videos, my style, my camping. All right, so this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. If you wanna watch the video of where I'm camping at this spot, I will link it right now. Otherwise, I appreciate you guys. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care guys.